Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. But it's not cider. It is not cider. If you watched the last film, you would have seen me try this, Stoford Press. And it's been a bit gassy. Excuse me for one second. <clears throat> and I mentioned in that film that on the same shelf next to it, I noticed, an, I noticed another beverage. I thought, hmm, I think I'll try that as well. Now, God knows why I want to try this. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, uh, worried about what it's going to be like. So what is it, Chris? Good question. Good question. It is Kingston Press Pear Cider. So we're not having a Perry, and we're not having a cider, we're having a Pear Cider. So by that, one assumes it is not made with Perry Pears, one assumes it is made with culinary pears, a little like this. Now, this, from Turner's, a producer I like a lot. I actually like this a lot. It's just like delicious, rich culinary pears. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It's totally quaffable. Is it the most complex thing you'll ever drink? Absolutely not. Is it delicious? Yes, it is. And I like it. And I will drink lots of it. And do actually drink loads of that. And it's only 5.5%. So this has got a lot to live up to, basically. And do you know how much this was? Do you know how much this was, Chris? We do not know how much it was. We weren't there. Just tell us. All right. One pound. A quid. This bottle of pear cider was a quid. Now that is a worry, if you ask me. You didn't ask me, but I'm telling you, it's a worry. So what does it say on the back? So anyway, Google this company. So the company is actually Aston Manor Cider Mill. Stewport on Seven. So Google them. Kind of like a big corporate, kind of dull site spouting all sorts of nonsense that didn't really tell you anything which always gets my goat um, they make this they make this and Kingston is one of several brands brand lines that they do lots of like fruit things and stuff like that anyway what does it say on the back it says a delightfully fruity pear cider with a smooth dry crisp finish crafted by our cider makers blending crafted by our cider makers blending juice from carefully selected var varieties of pear to an authentic recipe. What does that mean? What's an authentic recipe? Enjoy chilled over ice. No, I will not enjoy chilled over ice. Chilled over ice. I will not do that. I suspect that this is going to be pretty insipid anyway. You know what? That's cool of me, isn't it? We haven't we haven't tried it yet. We haven't tried it yet. We haven't tried it yet. I shouldn't judge it. But it was a quid. Right. Come on then. Do your worst. Where's my blinking thing here? Found it. Here it is. Uh, okay, so my, my camera's saying it's running low on battery. I'm just pressing, got it. I've got it, I've got it, all right. All right, now I can see the screen again. So let's open up this pear cider. Mm -hmm. Pop. Forced carbonated, yup. Filtered, yup. Cultured yeast, yup. I mean, Diluted what's in it. It's no ingredients. Concentrates, one assumes. I mean, I don't know. God knows. God knows. So, colour-wise, what have we got? We have something. Very, 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 very pale indeed. This is what I expected. So that reminds me a bit of the Copperberg we had. The pear cider from them. Look very similar in colour. Um... It has got, but again, but the thing about these pear sizes is they do seem to maintain a very nice head. There's a very nice, moosey head on that, which pleases me. The colour is a little insipid. I mean, jeez, I mean, yeah, there's not much going on colour-wise. Let's give it a sniff. Um, hmm. There's almost like a cream soda character to it. I'm not getting a heck of a lot of pear. I'm not getting a heck of a lot of fruit. I'm just getting like a like a cream soda thing. Yeah. Very, very delicately, but it is there. It makes me think of cream soda the nose. I'm not getting much else off it at all. Maybe a hint of CO2. That's about it. I mean it smells like there's something vaguely sort of like icing sugary kind of I don't know. It's something going on in there like that. Uh, like cream soda. But well, that's about it. So let's see what value for money one pound gives you. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. It's not as sickly sweet as I thought it was going to be. It does taste fake, but it doesn't taste as sickly sweet as I thought it was going to be. It does have some acidity. It really does. It doesn't taste like pear, though, to me at all. It tastes more citric, like more lemon sort of character to me than that. But it is a bit alcohol poppy. Mm. And actually now, even with that relatively bold sort of lemon slash lime acidity, the sugar is a little bit cloying and fake. It does feel a little bit fake. And I've got a sweet tooth. Uh, there's something about, there's like a lime cordial element to it. When you gave me this blind and said, what is it? Um, what I said, I don't know what I'd tell you. I don't know what I'd tell you. Um, so Christ knows what the authentic recipe was that they were following to make this. But um, if I bought this expecting to get this, I would be very, 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 very disappointed. Because this kicks this is ass. But this costs more than this. But the reason that this costs more than this, because this is made with 100% juice by somebody who blends very, very well and cares what they're doing and uses uh, interesting yeast and 100% juice, etc. This person, this cider maker, if it is a cider maker and not just a machine, um, doesn't. It's the, it's just not worth it. I don't know what that is. It's a quid. It's just something to get you drunk. That's all it is. They've written pear cider on it. They might as well not have bothered to put alcohol juice or something like that. You know, five or three percent. You want to get drunk? Drink this. It's only a quid. And then get another one. In fact, get six of them. Six quid. Get really drunk on something that tastes nothing like pear cider. It doesn't really taste anything like it's supposed to. So there you go. Excellent. Excellent stuff. I'm not sure I can even drink the rest of this. But you know what? I paid a quid for it. I'm going to give it a go. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me in my shed. I hope you join me again. But until then, cheers. <laughs>